good morning students today we have already looked into how to create tables how to insert entries into tables how to view the table now we'll see what if if you want to edit a few attributes of the table if you want to delete certain attributes of the table or if you want to add certain attributes to the table so first let us access our mysql space hyphen u space root space hyphen p is asking for password all right now uh, the name of the database was yeah we'll use the database b like we did yesterday now in that we had created a table by the name books now let us uh, see what all entries did we have in the table books so select asterisk indicates all the entries as of now i just have two entries now let us say i need to add one more attribute that is the addition addition of the book so i can have alter table name of the table add column addition which is let's say var cap 10 all right so now if i see the table one more attribute has been added and you can see one more attribute has been added by the name addition of the book now let's say there's an uh, attribute which you want to drop or which you want to remove from the table then you can have the same thing alter table name of the table drop column name of the column and a semicolon done so now again if we see yeah, as you can see there is no attribute by the name addition now so that is how we can add or remove attributes now let's say if i want to delete a specific entry from the table so then delete from table books where book id is equal to semicolon okay okay so now we we'll look into how to delete entries from database the command is delete from name of the table and you also have to give the condition as to identifying which entry you want to delete so let us say i want to delete the entry where the book id is 20015 and a colon do not forget to put a col colon without the colon an error will arise so every command in sql has to end with a colon 
so now let us see see out of the two entries now we just have one entry clear and again you can insert entries or attributes or you can edit to come out of mysql again uh, let us see if we want to drop all the entries of any table so then you can have delete just from the name of the book name of the table without specifying okay, which entry you want to s delete just delete from books that is the name of the table and a semicolon and all the entries will get deleted see as you can see what you get in return is an empty set so that means there are no entries in the table the table is there along with the attributes but just that there are no entries to the table so you can start entering fresh entries now let's say if you want to delete the table as well along with the entries then you can have drop table books and now if I have this it will give me an error why because the table books was deleted entirely clear so this is how you are going to create database insert entries into database alter the attributes of the database delete certain entries of the database drop the tables all together from the database so that comprises your experiment number one okay goodbye